Welcome to Sleepless Readings. Tonight we'll be reading a tale called The Sleeping Game. All throughout my childhood, for as long as I can remember, I played a game every night during bedtime. It wasn't the type of game that would evoke fun or make me stay up long past my curfew. No, this game was a sinister one, and it was played with a demon under my bed. The game was a simple one with simple rules. I had to be asleep, or at least pretend to be asleep. This meant that I could not have my eyes open for any reason. I could not move much, if at all, because movement was risky, and I couldn't make noise or show fear. Basically, if I were obviously awake, then the demon would get me. How do I know this if I'm still here? because it told me. Every night that thing would come out from under my bed and loom over me. It always made the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. The first night it happened, I pretended to be asleep out of pure terror, but it leaned close, so close that I could feel its cold breath on my ear. It whispered to me, Let's play a little game. If I ever catch you awake, I win, and you're mine. Forever. The voice, through a whisper, was raspy and reeked of rotten flesh and sulfur. After that, I felt it standing there and just watch me. I felt my skin turn to goosebumps, like how anybody can get that intensely creepy feeling of being observed just out of their own sight. It would do this every night after. Minutes after I was tucked into bed, it would emerge from underneath, from a realm entirely different from ours, and it would watch me carefully waiting. Over the years, I'd learned what was and wasn't acceptable. Small, twitchy movements were allowed, but risky, due to the fact that the body can move a bit during dreams. Rolling over, if done only once, was fine too. Even small noises, such as quiet mumbling, could occur without too much fault. However, I found that exaggerating these things could prove to be almost a game-ender. You see, when I would do these things, moving or making a noise, it aroused the demon's interest. I would feel it coming closer to me, leaning over my still body and breathing heavily, close to my face. It would stay like this, waiting for me to make another move, until either it lost that intense interest and went back to watching me normally by the bedside, or until the sun started to come up and peek through my blinds. One time, I decided to get bold and cracked open my eyes, just enough to barely see past my own eyelashes. It still had to look like they were closed and I was asleep, though. In my squint, I managed to see the being only faintly in the darkness and my half-blurred vision. What I could make out in the faint glow of moonlight which pierced through my window blinds was hideous. Its figure was a dark purple, almost black in color. The body looked like it was simply rotten flesh stretched tightly over protruding bones, with the ribs greatly showing and each joint of the thing bulbous. Long arms dangled at its sides as it towered over me in my bed, hunched even, to watch me. The head was the worst part. Chunks of flesh and rich purple skin hung from exposed patches of grey bone with no nose in sight. Only holes from the nasal cavity resided there. But the nose itself looked as though it had been violently shaved off by the ragged edges of skin and bone. Half the teeth were exposed as well. Crooked, human-like teeth that were stained yellow. Then I noticed its eyes, black in color and sunken in the pits, filled with delight and malice. It smiled down at me, and I had to use every ounce of willpower I had in my tiny body to not scream or move. I had to control my breathing to stay calm and steady. It was so incredibly difficult not to shut my eyes tight. But if I did that, then it would know I had seen it. My only option was to lie there and act as though nothing had happened as if I really was asleep and hoped that when I did let my breathing rate increase temporarily, it would assume I was just having a nightmare. For years, this thing has haunted me. Every night, minutes right after I settled into bed, it would emerge and stand by the bedside to watch me carefully. I could always feel its black eyes examining my body's movement underneath the blankets. No matter what I did to the bed, such as putting the mattress on the floor, or what I put underneath it, that thing always came. Nothing stopped it. I've tried even to sleep in other beds or other houses in an effort to escape it. 
For the first few nights it would leave me alone, but after a while it would soon come back to observe me. Once, I even tried bed hopping, or I would sleep in a new bed and new environment each night. That only worked for a couple nights as well. It always managed to find and follow me. Even if other people were in the room, it would come and watch. I think they didn't see or sense it, it only revealed itself to me, because nobody else ever mentioned seeing a strange figure in the darkness, or feeling a sense of dread. Only I was able to know. Maybe I was the only one who was allowed to know, since I had participated in the sleeping game. Either way, no one else has ever been any help. Recently, it has started to be less frequent with its appearances. There are some nights now where it doesn't show up at all that I notice. I don't get that dreadful feeling every night anymore. My hair doesn't always stand on end. Although I'm not sure if it's growing tired of the game because I'm getting older, or if it may be trying to lull me into a false sense of security to finally get me. Maybe it's finally growing bored of deteriorating my sanity. Hopefully it's getting bored. Hopefully it'll leave me alone for good soon. All I know for sure is that if it finds me awake for any reason, or even thinks that I'm awake, it will finally take me. To where, I don't know. But judging by the way it looks that one time I saw it, I don't want to find out. What I do want to know is that, is this a common occurrence? Has anyone else experienced this sort of thing? Does anyone else have their own bedtime demon that toys with them each night? Has anyone ever won its twisted game by chance? Please let me know. I'd like to believe there's a way to win. Thank you for listening. That was The Sleeping Game. Please consider subscribing for more. And as always, stay sleepless.